Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we're gonna to be opening up my BoxyCharm base box for the month of May. I've had this for a few days and have just not been able to sit down and record this unboxing. So I haven't even opened it yet. So I have this handy dandy little box cutter. It's a safety cutter, which, let's see if I can even use it. There we go. All right, so when you open it up, oh, it looks like this, so you're getting quite a sneak peek here. I'm just gonna quickly look to see if there's a card, which I don't see a card in here. Um, I do believe that this month it is Mother Nature, but um, yeah, so let's just dig on in. So the first thing I'm gonna choose to show you guys is actually my choice for the month. This is the Glam Glow Berry Glow Probiotic Recovery Mask. Now I have a probiotic mask from, I believe it's Dr. Brandt that I really, really love. So the choices this month were good. I really wanted the Hourglass Highlighting Stick, but by the time I got on there, which really was still early in the day, it was sold out. So I decided to go ahead and get the Glam Glow Berry Mask. I kind of wish I would have gotten the Elemis Facial Peel Pads, but mm, okay. It does kind of smell berryish, kind of like a smoothie. So it looks like there. So let's see. Um, just says apply an even layer to clean skin, leave on for 10 minutes for best results, tissue off and smoothen any excess. So a lot of these kind of like recovery masks, you will just kind of leave it on or I might even just sleep in it. So I'll let you guys know what I think about that. So that was my choice item. The next thing I'm pulling out is by the brand AM Beauty Care, and this is the Dead Sea Minerals Plus Vitamin C Serum Makeup Remover Wipes. And I'm actually kind of stoked for this because I really love makeup remover wipes. I know that I've heard that they're like not the best for you and that you shouldn't use makeup wipes, um, but I do like them as like the first step in taking my makeup off. And this one says it even removes waterproof mascara. I don't use waterproof mascara, but I'm trying to see. Okay, so yeah, you get 25 towels in here. So, okay, cool. The next thing is this, and this is the Daily Concepts Shampoo Bar, and this is a vegan plant-based product. And so this takes me back to like my Lush days when I loved Lush. I still do, but I just don't have one near me. And they have like all kinds of things like this, like um, shampoo bars and conditioning bars and things like that. And it looks like it's on a little string here. So you would just hang that up in your shower. The only thing with things like this, I'm just not really into it because I feel like they get slimy and nasty and I don't know. It does smell really good, very kind of like, I'm not sure what that is. Definitely smells like it would perk you up in the morning though. Um, maybe like some kind of eucalyptus. This says avocado oil, nopal cactus, aloe. So it sounds like some pretty good things in there. I'm just not like super jazzed on getting a shampoo bar in my BoxyCharm. So I don't know, we'll have to see. Um, okay, and the next thing is from Pretty Vulgar, and this is their eyeshadow primer. I don't use eyeshadow primers. Um, I normally just go in with a concealer, but I don't know. I'm willing to give this a try. Let's see. Let's put a little bit out on my hand here. It is definitely a thicker kind of consistency, and let's see. And on my skin tone, it just kind of blends in. So there's really not a lot of color. Um, definitely reminiscent of the Urban Decay Primer Potion, something like that. It has like a nice tack to it. It's not too too like silicone -y or slippery. So I'll give it a I'll give it a shot and see what I think. Like I said, normally just go in with a concealer, and that usually works. You know, does the trick for me anyway. So all right. And then last but not least, this is very unusual is the Violet Voss Essentials palette. I really was not expecting this in here. I'm not really sure if I've seen too many variations where this was an item that was in the box. I'm just really happy I did not get that studio makeup, whatever, the five and below eyeshadow palette that a lot of people were getting. I just did not wanna get that palette. So this is a really pretty color scheme. It does have a mirror. So there are the shades right there. A lot of mixes of warms, and then you have some really pretty pops of color in there. 
So that's a gorgeous palette. And I don't think I have any Violet Voss eyeshadows. I've heard mixed things. Some people love them. Some people aren't like super crazy about them. So I'm not gonna swatch this because I might end up putting this in a future giveaway or I don't know, find someone that might would like that. I just have so many eyeshadow palettes right now that I think it would be a waste. So yeah, uh, I'll probably put this in a future giveaway, so. All right, what did we think about BoxyCharm Base Box for the month of May? Let's just quickly go over everything that I got. I feel like I still have that like sticky like shampoo bar on my hands. So we have the Glam Glow Mask. This is like the probiotic recovery mask. We have the Ion Dead Sea Mineral Makeup Wipes, which I'm pretty happy to get. We have this guy, the shampoo, solid shampoo thing, Majigger. Um, we have the Violet Boss Essentials Pro Series. And then we have the, where did I put it? I don't know where I put it, but we have the pretty vulgar, here it is, the eyeshadow primer. So, all in all, not too bad. It wasn't the worst box of all time. It wasn't like the most amazing box of all time, but pretty good. Anyway, thanks you guys so much for watching. I hope you're all doing well, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.